In this video, I'll be comparing 30 different USB thumb drive that I have purchased so we can know which one are the worst and which one are the best. By the way, all the links are in the description. If you want to get any of these from Amazon, I have put even the worst ones, they're all there. So what I did is I compared their speed with my Mac and we'll get through the results. But before starting, just want to say that these are made from different brands. I don't have any preference from SanDisk. Here we have Kingston, HP, uh, PNY, Verbatim, and some of them have a USB type A connector and some of them have a USB type C or even both. This way we have a very diverse selection. So let's start with the worst ones that I found. So the last place is occupied by this Verbatim Tough Max that was only able to write at 3.6 megabytes per second and read at 3.8 megabytes per second. I don't know if this one is a defective unit, but anyway, it was very bad and slow. The main selling point of this USB thumb drive is that it is crush resistant at 5000 pounds, it's water resistant at up to 100 feet deep, and it's also temperature resistant. So if you need those features but don't mind to have one of the um, slowest USB thumb drive on the market, well go for it, your data will be well protected. Then this PNY Attaché 4 performed really badly as well, only 3.1 megabytes per second write speed and 17 megabytes per second read speed. And by the way, I have tested these using disk speed test by Blackmagic Design on my Mac computer. Maybe you'll get better result on a PC, I have no idea, but this is what I got by transferring one gigabyte. Another bad performer was this SanDisk Cruiser Blade. Not only it was very slow to write data on this USB thumb drive, but the quality of the materials, it's all plastic. And even this plug over here is plastic. And you see, when I'm pressing, it's bending. And many people reported that over time it breaks, especially if you don't plug it correctly uh, in your computer, this will shatter, will crack, and it will be unusable. Then let's continue with this bad performer. This Lexar E21 is well built compared to the previous SanDisk. It's all metal, it feels solid. It's one of my favorite build, to be honest. I'm sure it's indestructible if uh, you just drop it a few times or even if you squish it, nothing will break. Unfortunately, the transfer speed are quite low. 2.5 megabytes per second write speed is very bad. I won't recommend it at all. Then we have this Verbatim Metal Executive. It's again very well constructed, all metal, very solid. It comes with this key ring so you can attach it to your keys. But unfortunately, I don't think you're going to use it very often. At 3.5 megabytes per second write speed, this is very, very slow, unacceptable. And even for a USB 2, it should be faster, in my opinion. Here is another USB 2 USB drive. This one is the Lexar V40. Uh, it's all made out of plastic, it's one of the lightest USB drive and you see here again it's flexing and this will break over time. I really don't like that, I don't know why they chip out and didn't put a metal connector, but yeah, otherwise it really feels cheap and hollow when I'm tapping on it. Uh, and the transfer speed are not that great either, so I don't know if there's a good reason to get one of these. Next on the list, we have this SanDisk Cruiser Force. It's made out of metal. I like this. It's very light as well. Write speed, 5.9 megabytes per second. Not great. I don't recommend it. Uh, read speed, 34.8 megabytes per second. This is great. But unfortunately, most people are more interested in write speed because you don't want to sit all day in front of your computer while you transfer files. And for this reason, I don't recommend it. Here is another USB 2.0 USB drive. This is the HP, which has not that bad write speed for a USB 2.0, but very great read speed at 37.8 megabytes per second. This is the fastest read speed for a USB 2 that I got. So if you're just interested in read speed, well, maybe this could be a great choice. This is the SanDisk Cruiser Glide. I think it's a slightly better choice if you're interested in write speed. 11 megabytes per second is not the worst in terms of USB 
the only downside I think it's that it's a very big USB thumb drive you can see it on my hand it's probably one of the biggest I got uh, so yeah if you don't want something that sticks out of your laptop and it's an eyesore maybe don't get this one because it will attract all the attention next on the list we have the SanDisk Cruiser Fit for a tiny USB 2 thumb drive having 10.9 megabytes per second write speed and 34.9 megabytes per second read speed is not bad at all because it packs all this performance in a very tiny format then we have this verbatim uh, i don't know what's the name exactly I, again just check the link in the description it's a blue thumb drive pretty basic that you can protect it by sliding this part on and off 13.7 megabytes per second write speed is great for a USB 2 thumb drive in my opinion at least comparing to the other one I bought and 31.3 megabytes per second read speed is again very respectable so I was quite surprised I didn't expect much from this thumb drive but yeah it performs better than all the other ones you just saw then we have this verbatim pin stripe that I think has the same internals as the previous one is just that the body is slightly different again very good choice if you absolutely want a USB 2.0 uh, thumb drive 13.8 megabytes per second write speed is not bad all right now all the other thumb drive I will present are USB 3 so my expectations were quite higher and first we have this Wasanda, never heard about this uh, brand, it has a USB-A and a USB Type-C port. Unfortunately for a USB 3, at least this is what they advertise, 8.5 megabytes per second is extremely horrible. And the uh, read speed is great, 81 um, megabytes per second, but again, most people just want a fast write speed and this doesn't have one. I'm not even sure if it's a real USB 3.0 or they just lied, but obviously don't get this one if you expect your files uh, to get transferred quickly. Another bad USB 3 thumb drive is this Strontium. It has a USB type A port, uh, metal USB 3.A port, and the other side we have a micro USB that is not very used, but you know, if you have an older U um, Android phone, maybe you still need it. Um, for a USB 3, uh, performances are quite low. 12.9 megabytes per second is very low I mean some USB 2 gets faster transfer speed so this is unacceptable and I don't recommend it another one that I was quite surprised to have such a low performances is this Ken Kingston Exodia so 12 megabytes per second is low for a USB 3 and on top of that well it has this small key ring over top on the top there and this lid that you can clip it there but it makes a quite large USB thumb drive and also slow to transfer so yeah read speed is quite adequate at 85 megabytes per second but write speed is disastrous then we have over here the Gigastone Z90 so this the read speed is very great you know at 110 megabytes per second but write speed, 12 megabytes per second, yeah, no, definitely I won't recommend it. I know that it's small, it's also well built, all in metal, just a bit of plastic, but this is not an excuse uh, for such a poor performances. A bit better, we have the Verbatim Store and Go, 19.5 megabytes per second write speed. Is better than the others, but still not that great. It has a USB Type-C and also a USB Type-A, but this lid is very very hard to remove you see i really need to put a lot of force and the tip over here is plastic so if you plan to use it often on the usb type a port i suggest you get something else because again it will get uh, smashed and cracked uh, after a few times and the lid goes on both sides by the way but it's much easier to remove on the usb type c part Next we have the Patriot Supersonic Rage Light, a very funny name honestly for a USB thumb drive. 27.4 megabytes per second write speed, not great, not bad. Read speed at 104 megabytes per second is great I think. But it's a very large USB thumb drive and if you have better options and you do, just all the other ones I'll present after this one are much better than this. I don't know why you will get it. 
The next one is from a brand that I never knew exist, SEC. I guess this is how you pronounce it. Write speed are very bad, by the way, for a USB 3, but I'll give uh, points because it has this small hook over here. It's all built of solid metal. I like the material they choose. And the read speed at 173 megabytes per second is amazing, honestly, for such a small USB thumb drive from a brand that nobody knows. So if you need absolutely great read speed and great uh, portability and great materials, well, go with this one. But write speed, very disgusting. This 17 megabytes per second should be better. Here is another uh, USB thumb drive from a brand that I didn't know exist, Moment. Uh, write speed 24.4 megabytes per second could be better, but we saw worse to 123 megabytes per second read speed is good. Uh, the only problem here is that it's huge, very long, and uh, I don't know why it's so big, because most of this plastic feels empty inside. Here is another model from the same brand, Moment, with 2M. Write speed a bit better at 26 megabytes per second and read speed at 123. Uh, I think it's pretty average for a USB uh, 3 thumb drive. So if it's really cheap, maybe go with this one, but otherwise I don't see many reasons to get it. Next we have this SanDisk UltraFit, which for a tiny USB 3 thumb drive has pretty good uh, performances. Unfortunately, I don't recommend it because it's made only out of plastic. And we all know that this, you see over here, all plastic, even the plug flexes. And if you don't plug it correctly, it will break. I mean, I don't think this will resist many years of uh, usage. Next we have the Kingston Keysun that has amazing read speed at 215 megabytes per second. Unfortunately, write speed is not that great at 23 megabytes per second. So again, if you absolutely need some high read speeds for no, I don't know what reason, this could be a great choice. It's made mostly out of metal and just the tip here is plastic. It's compact, it's light. Unfortunately, it should have done better in the write speed test. Next we have the PNY Elite X Fit, uh, write speed not that good, read speed amazing, uh, 237 megabytes per second, this is great, and especially for something this tiny, but again, most people are interested in write speed, so I don't know if I will recommend it. This is the Samsung Fit Plus that does uh, better in the read speed. I didn't know it was possible, but yeah, 269 megabytes per second for something very small is great. Write speed is slightly better. So if you have to choose a tiny, tiny USB thumb drive, I think this is the one to go with. Um, 34 megabytes per second may not seem high, but for something uh, of this size, it's not the worst from what I've seen. Next we have this SanDisk Ultra, which has 44 megabytes per second write speed, which I think it uh, starts to get acceptable for USB 3. And read speed at 147 megabytes, it's not bad as well. So definitely this is one that I will recommend. The only downside is that it's big. So if this doesn't matter to you, I think you should go for it, especially if it's at a better price than the next one that I'll present. Okay, this is the SanDisk Dual Drive Go uh, that has 51 megabytes per second write speed. And this is great. Definitely one that I will recommend if you need a USB Type-C and a USB Type-A. The USB Type-A, it's made out of plastic. Um, I wish this was metal, but if you're mostly going to use the USB Type-C port and this USB Type-A port just sometimes during the year, I think you can still buy it and don't worry too much about it breaking. And the winner for this contest, well, the SanDisk Ultra Flare. I've been using this one, by the way, personally for the last two years and 94 megabytes per second write speed is not only amazing, it's, it destroys the other ones that I just presented to you. Read speed, 142, pretty acceptable, nothing bad to say about it. You may see that mine is slightly banded and this is my fault, it's made out of metal, I I think one time I just uh, stumbled across my computer and this is definitely my fault. I don't think you should be uh, worried or afraid of uh, this happening to you if you get it. Honestly, I think the construction is well built and uh, the performances, well, 
I think they speak by themselves. You should get it if you're looking for a very quick USB thumb drive that is also quite compact. If you want to get any of these from Amazon, again, I have put the links in the description down below. So I hope this was helpful, helping you deciding which one to get or which one to not get. If so, please leave a like, comment down below which one would you choose because maybe the best ones are not the ones that fit your profiles. Maybe you prefer one that is slower but better built or whatever. Just write in the comments down below, subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.